in addition to prayer i believe and this is my opinion and is supported from scripture that every believer who loves god must trust god for grace to have moments where at least this is my opinion no matter how weak you are spiritually at least every month minimum standard you must have a day to fast before god not just because there is an emergency it's part of the spiritual build-up process and that one month i'm saying one per month is assume that you are a christian who has made up your mind to not know god if you're in ministry and you fast only once a month i don't know what to say again africa has a unique expression of evil a unique expression of evil that requires a heightened level of stamina to survive is the truth there's no need lying to ourselves a unique expression of evil hallelujah we must pray and we must fast i believe in prayer i believe in fasting when it is done with understanding and it is done truthfully it can provide the power that drives you you see what will happen to this church after this moment of prayer suddenly like an eagle you will rise with new wings testimonies open doors listen when it happens don't just say glory be to god we thank god but you know what you did it can be reproduced again and again and again hallelujah Please lend me five minutes and let me just talk quickly. About and you can pay the price, financially speaking, for remaining with God. In the name of Jesus, may poverty and hardship be far from everybody's life. Most people do not know what poverty does. Even those who talk a lot about money, it's just an obsession from a standpoint of lust. Poverty is a dangerous weapon in the hand of Satan. It can not only distract your spiritual life, it can eat up your time so you don't have any other thing again. The little time you have to seek God, that time will be eaten up by the time you receive the PTA letter and you look at it as though it was a death sentence. You look at the PTA letter and the school fees has been multiplied times two. And you're now wondering where will I get an extra job? The night time that you would have now used for God must be used in outsourcing other resources. That's why the saints must be blessed. It is not to show up. The agenda is bigger than that. I made up my mind as a person that I will never, never serve money in my life. I will serve His Majesty and the resources that come from the wisdom of this system will serve me. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Is God blessing us already? So you must make sure you, 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 an attack on your prayer life is a real attack. Families must pray. You know, nowadays, and, and I'm saying it respectfully, most family meetings you know prayer altar or how you call it most times it happens when there are emergencies when there's a quarrel to settle corporately when there's something to discuss when you know all of that but it ought not to be so we must pray we must pray we must pray we must pray we must trust god for grace to pray and when you are praying let me advise as much as god grants you grace carry this thing away from you when you are praying this is a blessing but this can also be used by demons praise the lord the kind the bible says the fervent and effectual prayer it's not any prayer that creates effect you have to put your heart in this thing not that you pray two minutes you are quickly responding to an email another two minutes and you check ah you mean this is the guy that won the boxing my god he didn't look like he was strong you see those things are they are not evil but they are weights and the bible says seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside not everything is sinful but there are things that are unnecessary luggages praise the lord when you are praying you have to pray seriously because sometimes the devil will program people 
just when you pray they want to watch a movie and they say please can you borrow me your living room or borrow me somewhere let me just watch a film there's a soap opera i can't miss this part the part i've been waiting for some of those things you can turn everywhere in your house to an altar your toilet can be an altar as small as it is you can lock yourself there it's one of you can pray there and say lord while you are you are lifting me to have and build my own prayer room I, you, you can use your bedroom so um not many people look at first thessalonians chapter 2 please from verse 18 paul was teaching the church in thessalonica he was showing them a very powerful mystery read it with me if you're a christian one to read please uh-huh one more time please once and again meaning i tried and tried again wherefore your favor would have come to you he tried once and again but satan hindered us wherefore your testimony would have happened since last year march but once and again a system of resistance the bible is not silent as to the fact that we are not alone in this side of god's kingdom the bible is not silent as to the fact that there are operations of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of the saints paul took time to give us a sound theological exegesis theologically speaking the book of ephesians is believed to be the zenith of paul's apostolic ministry and he showed us the the strategy to ward off the arsenals of darkness are we together now wherefore we would have come we would have come your breakthrough your lifting the manifestation of prophecy but Satan hindered us the Bible lets us know that Satan is not afraid to arise and challenge believers it is true from scripture that satan is bold enough to challenge every word that god communicates to a believer in fact the bible shows us the the operation of satan in a very instructive way jesus is done fasting look up please brothers and sisters i think i've shared it here somewhere jesus is done fasting and the first person he meets after his version of wine press is not his disciples is satan satan is patient with jesus and after 40 days imagine the word the logos of god with the holy ghost in him and on him anointed without measure now prays to fast for 40 days this spiritual combination and the first person he sees is satan and satan is not shaking and falling under the anointing satan is standing in front of jesus and he's the first to broker a conversation turn this stone to bread and the word is spoken now this is rema and satan does not fall he does not run away now i'm not downplaying the power of god i'm showing you something that should challenge you what exactly is satan afraid of because the word is there the spirit is there the anointing is there faith-filled utterances are there and satan is still standing then satan takes it to another dimension he holds the hand of jesus and takes him to a high mountain you are holding the word filled with the spirit and dragging him hello him adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him adonai thy kingdom come listen to me everything good is why satan will come to you satan has no business coming to you until he sees that the jealousy of god has been invested towards your destiny he is looking for everything god wants when god looks at you he wants to know why when god zooms his attention on your family he wants to know why satan is threatened every time he sees the direction of god towards you i have loved you with an everlasting love i have drawn you with my loving kindness the moment jesus was born 
the spirit of the antichrist began to move through people to look for him to kill him he became uneasy the day a declaration came from heaven this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him satan never looked for anybody again including barabbas he left barabbas quietly because he was looking for a man who was a representation of god in the earth please listen to me very carefully it is important to pray because it is at the point of priesthood that we we establish victory experientially Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 5 Paul was putting a very strong balance he was bringing the the psalm of David about man and he was teaching us something that we must understand for unto the angels had he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak verse 6 please but in a certain place he testified saying what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that thou visitest him seven but thou hast made him lower than elohim the word there is elohim god himself not just angels thou crownest him with glory and honor listen and thou didst set him over the work of thy hands verse 8 thou hast put all things where in subjection under his feet for in that he put all things in subjection under him he left nothing this is the speakings of god you see how god speaks he left nothing that is not put under him but come back to this realm now we do not yet see all things reality is finished from god's standpoint but in experience we do not yet see it so priesthood becomes the bridge between prophecy and experience that that which is finished can find expression to become manifest hallelujah it is true that when you live your life barren of priesthood you may never never see in experience the salvation of god so jesus himself would get up early and go to pray the logos of god prayed the logos of god prayed he prayed every day he prayed every time even at his passion he prayed my house shall be called the house of